So here's the menu for pumpernickels. Feel free to stop it so you can see. Basically it's eggs, ham steak, sausage, pancakes, baked goods. The lunch has a much larger selection. Over on the left all the deli sandwiches you can get and you can choose the cheese and bread that you want. Um, there's also a lot of grilled sandwiches hot off the grill which is nice. Big selection. Uh, salads. There's about seven different salads you can choose from and also paninis over on the right hand side. A couple soups under that. They have a soup of the day. A lot of desserts of the day. Here's a shot of the inside. Holds roughly about 38 people so it's a little on the small side but really cool atmosphere in there. Here's a picture of the salad and also Jessica's French dip. We get coleslaw, pickle, and the au jus. So we just wrapped up lunch here at Pumpernickel's Cafe and Deli. I got the chef's salad. It had really nice ham. It had red peppers, yellow peppers, and green peppers. It had some red onion. Um, it had spring mix, um, and there was a lot of it in there. It, it was served in that bowl, and it was pressed down. It was packed full of uh, spring mix underneath it. And then it had a boiled egg, cheddar cheese on top, and uh, they served ranch uh, to the side and cherry tomatoes. They were they were good as well. Um, all in all, it was definitely a really delicious salad and the portion was huge. I only ate maybe a third of it and they let us box up the other two thirds. Um, yeah, it was it was definitely really nice. I would definitely order, order that chef salad. It was a really good bang for its buck uh, for that one. And then the pop was served in bottles. They had a kind of like a Coke machine with a bottle pop in there. And Jessica, what'd you, what'd you get? I got French dip and Swiss sandwich, and it came on like a panini bread, which I never had it like that before. Uh, I think that I like different bread better because it soaks up more of the au jus sauce, but it was still pretty good. Yeah, as far as the au jus, they served it in that little, and then she dumped it out on the plate because she's a big fan of like Arby's where it has the big cup, and then you can really dunk it in. Um, so uh, compared to Arby's, what do you what do you think of it? Because it was like pressed down panini, so it wasn't the same. Did you did you like this style more? Or did you like the thicker bread so you can soak up more of the in the in the cup of au jus? Do you uh, like the Arby's more? I like Arby's more. While I was eating it, I was like, I wish it was Arby's, but it was still good. It was just <laughs> yeah, definitely. They have a really nice breakfast menu. It looked like too, uh, very inexpensive as well. So definitely gonna come back. There's also a punch card, and you get so many lunches, and then you get the last one free, which is really nice. So. Definitely be stopping back in. Um, anything else you want to add? Oh, the outside is really cool, but you can't see it right now. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, around here in Toledo, there's a lot of buildings painted like that. But thanks for watching. Definitely recommend. It would be worth a visit. Small little place. They'll treat you right. All right. Thanks for watching. Like and comment below. Uh, like and subscribe. Oh yeah. And then tell me what pumpernickel bread tastes like because I don't know.